Hi everyone, um, if you're a girl, skip this video. If you're a guy and you're 45, 50 years old, this is very much applicable to you. Even for the young guys, you need to start know these things. So maybe watch the video. When you hit 50 years and older, um, a lot of the guys, a significant amount of the guys, start having problems with their prostates. Now, um, you never want to go down that route. Um, I've seen so many guys that had prostate uh, problems, uh, cancerous growth on their prostate, and uh, uh, they went through the operation, and the, the operation damaged a lot of the internal workings, and eventually they, they, they basically can't get any erection. Uh, and uh, this has a massive impact on, on the quality of life that they can lead. They, they basically can't have any sex, pretty much. Um, so let's rather uh, take a preventative uh, route to treat your, your prostates. Um, now, in this video, I quickly want to discuss as to what you can do to try and prevent any prostate issues. Uh, up to this point, uh, it was rather firmly believed that a natural product called saw palmetto was just about the best uh, option or treatment out there, preventative treatment out there for your prostate. But recent studies have now shown that it's got a 0% protective aspect of, of, on the prostate. Uh, when they did the trials in the placebo group and the people that took the saw palmetto over an extensive period and with a lot of people, there was no difference between the two groups. Absolutely no difference. So saw palmetto is uh, not working at all. It's been proven now. Uh, now this led me, obviously because I'm 50, this led me now um, into quite a bit of uh, personal research to try and find a possible solution or preventative solution to this, this problem. Now, uh, after quite a bit of research, the only product that stands out is uh, what they call Proscar. Uh, the generic name I think is Finasteride. Proscar, uh, new studies now have shown that Proscar has a significant effect on pre prevention of enlarged prostate and prevention of prostate uh, cancer growth. Uh, some studies have shown that it's up to 40% preventative factor. Now that is a huge positive preventative factor. So um, that is also a rather safe drug to take for a long term. It is something that your doctor really should not have a problem prescribing to you because it, um, it is widely used by people over 50 to prevent prostate growth uh, or enlargement or cancerous growth. Unfortunately, it is a prescription drug, so you can't get it without visiting your doctor. But maybe that's a good good time to also get your PSA level checked out and make sure that uh, you know there is no problems currently. Then, of course, um, what the studies has also shown, the research, is that living a healthy life in terms of fitness, in terms of not being overweight, in terms of getting a lot of antioxidants and healthy food in, has also quite a big positive effect on preventative uh, problems for your prostate and cancer growth. So that is also a significant factor and will contribute massively towards uh, preventing this kind of situation. So if you live healthy, eat right, train, you fit and you start using Prosca as a preventative medication, you should be well away. So uh, let's keep training, let's grow and uh, let's be happy. <laughs> Cheers.